It's still on hold. What is taking so long? The jail's computer systems are down, just like everybody else's. They're doing a head count. Five days a night. He's been in the hospital for nearly five days. How is it that no one noticed that he was missing? We were a little preoccupied with the world ending. Oh, I should have checked in with him. I should have... I should have followed up. Why would you have? The last time you spoke, he had Hudson in custody. Yeah. It was a done deal. You didn't have any reason to. He might not wake up again. That's what they're saying. Yes. You sure? We are sure, ma'am. Very sorry. I'll let you know if anything. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Jeffrey Hudson's not in a cell. Son of a bitch. You were right. He didn't even make it back to Men's Central. He's still out there. And with a five-day head start this time. Tasha, have you had any word back from Lila Risco? Not yet, Captain. Still trying. I'll send a unit. No, I'd send more than a unit. She was there when Lou took Hudson into custody. There's a reason we haven't heard from her. Well, her car's still in the garage, so I didn't take that. Maybe he teamed up with one of those groupies. No. His only accomplice is right there. You think so? I do. My mind just keeps going back to the visitor logs from Men's Central Jail. The only name that appeared more times than his groupies was hers. She was his lawyer. Whom he fired and whose place he came straight to after he escaped. I don't think it was to get a refund on his retainer. You think they were lovers? Bit still made. I think she was smitten just like the other fools. I think she saw him being led away in cuffs and she intervened on his behalf. We thought we were saving her. I don't think she wanted to be saved. So she attempts to murder a Los Angeles police detective to help him escape. Mm. And he kills her for the favor? I mean, why would he do that? Jeffrey Hudson's not a one-woman kind of guy. It's a little scary how deep inside this guy's head you are. Not deep enough. He's always two steps ahead. A lot more than that. Five-day lead, he could be halfway to Florida by now. No, no, I don't think so. A city plunged into utter darkness is exactly the place he'd like to be. <laughs> no better hunting ground for a predator like him. No, I don't think he's gone anywhere at all. In that case, maybe we need to warn his previous victims. Action. Gotta call you back. I just got some very esteemed reinforcements. Be safe. Well, this might be an LAPD first. Don't think I've ever seen a captain on a stakeout. That's why I left my bars at the station. Captain, what are you doing here? Uh, you know, one way or another, Hudson is responsible for slicing up one of my guys and putting him on life support, so... At this point, it's personal. <laughs> so I'm relieving you. Oh, respectfully, Captain. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not leaving. Yes, you are. Branson is awake. And he's asking for you again. Elaine, I'm almost home. I'm five minutes away. And I managed to get some units out there. Do not go in there alone. I don't think that's an option. Athena? The last time you went in without backup, it did not end well. People keep talking to me about the last time. I no longer have the luxury to dwell on that. Warden isn't sure if the riot was cover for the escape or if the escapees just seized on the opportunity. So Buck and Eddie are in an ambulance with two convicts and an injured guard. Well, dispatch has tracked the transponder and the ambulance. It's been stationary for a couple minutes. I've got units heading there right now. What about Bobby and the rest of the 118? They're still inside the prison. Warden sent me their inmate files. We can't track them, but maybe we can figure out where they might have gone. Dominic Gale. He's not from here. He got picked up six years ago on an out-of-state warrant for a home invasion in Milwaukee. Six years ago? What's he still doing in a California prison? Uh, he killed a fellow prisoner while awaiting extradition. So we decided to hang on to him until after he finishes his 20. No local ties. What about the other one? Mitchell Trent. He's been on death row for 18 years. Uh, triple homicide. And a long-ass list of prior offenses. Yeah, and dating back to a sealed juvenile record. No visitors, no pen pals until last year. According to this, he started writing letters to his ex. An ex from 18 years ago? Mm-hmm, Savannah Richards. She testified at his trial. She was the state's key witness against him. She's still local? She is. 
We need to get her into protection right now. Do you really think that he'd go through all this trouble breaking out just to settle an old score? 18 years is a long time to stew. Maybe that pot finally boiled over. Mitchell still hasn't responded. Does he need to respond? We know what his demands are, right? He wants to donate his heart to his kid. Well, that's not on the table. It's not even on the menu. The state of California doesn't allow death row inmates to donate their organs. Come on, that's just a technicality. It's a law, Buck. Prisoners who made petitions to donate their kidneys, pieces of the liver to family, and every request to become an organ donor has been denied. Well, there, there's got to be something else we can do. Look, we're still trying to talk to him. Give him a chance to surrender peacefully. And if he doesn't? Then we take the ambulance. And the father, or whatever you want to call him, has made himself a donor. Let's just let him do the surgery, figure the rest out later. This is way above our pay grade. We don't make the laws, just enforce them. Well, what exactly does the law say? Death row inmates, right? I know what you're thinking. But there is no way, Athena. The governor is never going to pardon him for a triple homicide. Not even posthumously. What would he say to a commutation? I've been asked to take action against you for removing the passengers from that plane. Great. So the CEO calls the mayor. Who calls the captain? Who calls you? Yep, that's exactly right, but they can all piss off. I saw the video. You were totally justified. These airlines suck. That's not why you're here. OK, so why am I here? Leila Creedy. You know who the best police officers are, Athena? The ones who show integrity and empathy, who use common sense. The ones who don't make my telephone ring. And right now, I feel as if I operate the Athena Grant crisis hotline. What were you doing at that party? It's, it's complicated. Look, I know about me, and I'm sorry. I can't even imagine what you're going through right now. The rage that must be coursing through your veins. If there's anything I can do, just ask. I appreciate that. You're not going to appreciate this. I checked the logs. Nobody called in a noise complaint. You used your badge to exact a personal vendetta, exposing yourself and this entire department to a lawsuit. And no matter how justified you or I might find your actions, there's no way the LAPD can condone your behavior. You were out of line and too assertive with a minor. I'm putting you on restricted duty effective immediately. You're riding the desk. Captain, let me iron out this thing with my daughter. Then I'll take whatever punishment you want. You left me no choice. My son, don't you shoot my son. Look, my wife is a sergeant. Her name is Athena Grant. Sure you want to watch that? I needed to see it for myself. I'm going to recommend suspension without pay while the department conducts their investigation. I'm going to push for disciplinary action, but most likely there'll be no real consequences for their actions. None that will feel satisfying. Reynolds has a long list of complaints. Yeah, the problem is he always stops just short of doing something truly awful, so none of it sticks. Almost every incident on that list involves a black or brown suspect. I'm aware of the pattern, but I'm not going to lie to you, Athena. This is probably going to go away, too. Construction crews are closing down streets between here and dispatch, getting ready for squad to move in. How are we doing with GPS? Everyone's been told how to disable their system before coming here. Hey, so, uh, so what's the plan? You know, what, what happens next? We're still trying to get eyes into a damn windowless room. None of the names on the list checked out. They're not LAPD. So, five bad guys inside and no plan to get our guys out? No, we got a plan. We just don't like it. Captain Maynard, Dave Morrissey, Valley Communications. Mr. Morrissey, thanks for coming. Sergeant Grant. SWAT commander would like to talk to you. He has some questions. Well, I'm not sure how I can help. Well, you're used to working there. You're the closest things we've got to eyes inside. How are we doing with those RA units? 122 and the 133 just got here. There's two more houses in room. Captain, who, who are all these people on the bus? Off-duty dispatchers. Once we take back the building, somebody has to handle call response. Take it back? You're not going to negotiate, see if they surrender first? They haven't asked for anything or made any demands. They don't even want us to know they control the building. If we reach out to them, we're going to lose the one thing we've got going for us, the element of surprise. Can we do this right? We hit them fast, take the building before they even know we're outside. And if you don't? Why do you think we ask for so many RA units? Grant, it's good to see you. Sorry we can't hug anymore. Did we before? 
Oh, I'm going to need some time to get the hang of these protocols. Well, those are the guidelines right there. A little oh. bit of light reading for you while you're on the desk. Perfect. I promised my family I'd be doing a lot of paperwork. <laughs> and what about you? You okay not being on the street? I, um, I like to ease my way back in. I was surprised when I got your call. I was beat up. It wasn't the end of the world. No. But everything that's happened since, I mean, it does kind of feel like maybe it could be. You sound like my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> How is May? Is USC online for the semester? Taking a gap year. You don't seem very happy about that. Well, it's more about what she's doing to fill that gap. They are not thinking on their feet out there. It's more like their elbows. I got an alarming call from the emergency operations center. They think those microquakes might have damaged more than just the dam. They're worried about a landslide east of the reservoir. East of the reservoir? Well, that's all residential. You're going to need more boots on the ground, people to knock on doors. And someone to supervise the scene. Look, I know you said you wanted to ease in, but I need you back out there. 